Hi, welcome back. Welcome to episode 92 of Virtual Electrum TV. I'm your host, Marek Mulajic. And this is another week, another series of videos about anything Photoshop, Lightroom and photography related. Last week we had a special episode of Social Action TV. Hope you enjoyed it. Create the web tour with Adobe. It was amazing. It was a fantastic day out with Adobe. There was a lot going on. I'm sure you've seen these two parts. So I got like about 20 minutes of video out of the whole day just to show you a sneak peek of just a preview of what was going on. Now this week we're back to the regular Photoshop Lightroom TV. Uh, just to remind you, uh, if you want to follow me, if you want to get the latest information and tips and tricks and techniques, connect with me on either Facebook or Google Plus or Twitter, LinkedIn. You easily find me, just search for Marek Mularczyk and you'll find me there. And speaking of connecting and social networks, uh, my first tutorial this week is about Facebook. Well, not exactly Facebook, but I'm going to show you how to create a banner, an image that appears on the top of your timeline on Facebook. Okay, so what dimensions you need, how to create it, how to export it as well, and upload it online. So let's jump into Photoshop. In Photoshop, we're going to start by creating a new document, so file new. Okay. I'm going to set the width to 851 pixels and the height to 315 pixels. This is the dimension, or these are the dimensions of an image on a cover image on Facebook page. Resolution 72, that's the screen resolution. And we'll leave all the rest on the default. I will just accept it. Oh, by clicking OK. Now you can start working on it. So you can start adding content, dropping the text, background. You know how to do it. So I'm not going to bother about you, you about that. Yeah, just so you remember the dimensions: 851 by 315 pixels, and the resolution of 72 dpi. Just going to cancel that. Once you're done with everything, like I've built this banner here. Now I could have made these images a bit smaller, especially because the Lightroom image. Or well, the description Lightroom 4 doesn't really appear on the page if you look in here. However, I'm okay with that because there's a text here. There'll be Photoshop Lightroom 4 on the top of the box. So that's just fine. But just bear in mind that your image, your profile image, will appear here in the bottom left corner. So you may want to reserve some space in here. When you're done, you're going to export it using Save for Web and Devices. So go to File, Save for Web. It's safe for web in Photoshop CS6. In all the previous versions, it used to be safe for weapon devices. Okay, so if you're in Photoshop CS5 or earlier, safe for weapon devices. I'm going to work on optimized. Although we could do, or let's say two up as an example. Okay, so I'm in two up. I'm going to make this window a bit bigger. Okay, so I've got two previews. Now we we'll definitely want to make it into a JPEG or could be a PNG, but we'll stick with JPEG. We'll just try to make it look good and the file size is quite small. So if you click on the image here in the top, from the preset drop down menu in the top right corner, choose JPEG. You can choose any of these presets here. I'm not going to start with high. It's 60% quality. The image looks good. Okay, just looking at it. Looks good. And the file size is 53.7 kilobytes. Okay, and I'll click on the image on the bottom. It's also JPEG set to very high, 80%. So it's 83 kilobytes. If we look carefully on the image, well, actually, it does look better, especially if you look on HTML5 logo. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but if you look on HTML5 logo, you can see here it starts getting pixelated, and here it doesn't. Okay. So I'm going to click on the one on the top and I'll try to set it to maximum quality and see how big it gets. Now I don't want to make it more than 100 kilobytes. So I'll click on that. I'll change the quality to maximum, which is 100%. It's 149 kilobytes. So it's quite large. And by looking at it, I can hardly tell any difference. So the important thing here is well, don't make it too big if you don't see the difference. 
Uh, you want it to be really good and remember people are not going to keep on looking on the banner for I don't know how long they're going to see it at the beginning when they navigate to the page and then they start scrolling down and reading the content so in this case I think the, the bottom part of the image with 80% quality is a great compromise between the quality and file size it's only 83 kilobytes and remember you can preview it in a browser as well so I'll click on preview run in the browser that's what it looks in Firefox I think it looks great so I'm going to close that or click on this image to select it or click save I'm going to save it or put it on desktop training banner Facebook that's fine format images only settings default settings and I'll just save it I'm going to show you the image so I'll just go to my I'm navigate to my desktop that's the image here it's 84 kilobytes, it's 851 by 315 pixels I'll just preview it, a photo viewer, that's what it looks like and now what you can do is go to your Facebook page log in to your admin panel for your page move the cursor over the cover image click on change cover upload photo then select the image you want to use and should open. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you know how to create beautiful images for your timeline on Facebook. Now I've got for you one more Photoshop tutorial. But just before we jump into Photoshop, just uh, one more bit of information. Remember that if you have any questions Photoshop related or Lightroom related, probably the best place to go is the Adobe forums. It's forums.adobe.com and it's a separate forum for every Adobe product and technology as well. So for example, there's a forum for Photoshop for Windows, Photoshop for a Mac, there's a forum for Photoshop for beginners as well, and many more. And you find one of the great things about Adobe forums is that it's global, so there's always someone on the forum. You find graphic designers, web designers, photographers, Adobe employees appear on the forums as well and Adobe certified instructors and experts like myself I'm quite often on Adobe forums as well now the second tutorial is quite similar to the first one we're also going to jump into Photoshop but this time I'm going to show you how to create an image, a banner for your Google Plus page okay so let's have a look at that if I just go on to the Google Plus okay, when you log into your Google Plus account you go to more and pages okay, where you can look at your pages okay I'm just going to switch to this page here for example and you get this cover image that appears on Google Plus similar to what we have in on Facebook but a slightly different dimensions and notice that this time the area on the right hand side is covered by the profile image profile photo so in this case, we'll try to put everything on the left hand side. Okay. So back in Photoshop, what you do is you create a new document, so File New, and this time we're going to set it to 940 pixels by 180 pixels. Oops, 180 pixels. These are the dimensions for a Google Plus cover image. Resolution 72, that's fine. I just click OK. And then you start adding content so what I could do here is I'm actually going to flatten these layers here starting from here and just move that because I'm done already so I'm going to flatten these image layers layer merge layers okay I'm going to take the move tool and I'll just drag and drop it here if I hold down the shift key before I release the mouse button the image will appear in the center of a design now I forgot the background layer, but that's not a problem, or I could just leave it white. Before I resize it, I'm going to convert it to a smart object. So I'll just right click on the layer and just convert to smart object. Now everything I do from now on will be non-destructive. So Ctrl T or Command T. If you hold the Shift key down and Alt key at the same time, you'll be resizing the image proportionally and from the center. So perfect. Okay, or make that more or less that size, I'm just going to zoom in to 100% view 
and I'll move it to the left. If I want to move in a straight line, I'll just hold down the Shift key, just like that. I'll accept it. I may need this background, so I'm actually going to unlock it, and I'll just drag. I'm just going to drag and drop it here as well. Why not? I'll put it below. Maybe stretch it. It's just a color anyway, so it's not going to get pixelated. Here we go. So all the corner on the left hand side, there will be a cover image here on the right hand side, as we can see here. Okay, everything's on the left hand side. Right? And I will just export it. File. Save for web again. Photoshop remembers you, the last settings you used. Okay, so remembers my 80% JPEG, very high quality. It's only 40 kilobytes. So I'm just going to crank it up to 100. It's only 69 kilobytes. It looks really nice. I'm going to save it. This will be training burner Google Plus. Okay, save it. And when you're done, you go to your Google Plus page. Move again, move the cursor over the image, click on change cover photo. Okay. And you can either upload the image, you can actually choose some of your images, or you can just upload it. So you can click on upload and then select a photo from your computer, or you can just drag and drop it into here. Okay, welcome back. It's me again, Marek Mulajic. I hope you enjoyed watching these two tutorials. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to create a tutorial for something that's bothering you or something you're trying to achieve, but you can't. Just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. You can easily contact me from any of the social networks, or you can contact me through my website, saitraining.co.uk, or you can just go to marekmulacic.com. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. This was episode 92 of Photoshop Lightroom TV. I'm Marek Mulajic, your host, one of the UK student specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And I'm going to see you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.